What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Alright, for those of you that picked up a new shiny iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max or any of Apple's recent generation products, they just dropped 16.1 for the latest iOS update in the form of Beta 2. So last week they dropped Beta 1 and they introduced a couple of new features. One of the biggest ones that they talked about was the Live Activities API and the ability for developers to finally integrate that into their new apps. So, we not only got that, we got a couple of battery indicator updates for other iPhones, specifically the minis of the 13 and 12. We got the clean charging energy ability. While you plug it in, it changes and charges at a different time depending on what's heavy on the grid currently. Still think that's a gimmick. But then we also got the addition of matter support as well, slowly but surely being baked in. Well today, obviously in beta 2, we have a couple of new tweaks. We're not expecting too much, but so far, let me show you what we found. I know this is going to make us personally happy, and I think a lot of you guys will like this as well. They finally tweaked that battery indicator. So instead of just showing a numerical percentage in a full battery, you now are going to get an accurate visual aid to the battery percentage that it currently is at. So if it's at 25%, it'll show a quarter of the way up. If it shows at 75%, it'll show at three quarters. It is now actually visually giving you the image of the battery icon with the true numerical value of that. I know it's silly, I know it's a little thing, but this is actually much more obviously visually appealing than what it was prior with just a numerical value and an incorrect battery icon. So as silly as it is, that's the most recent update we found. Let's look at this right now. Okay, so it's still early on, obviously, but we did just update 16.1 Beta 2 on our 14 Pro Max. And the first call out I want to mention to you guys, as we were discussing, look at the battery indicator now. It is actually accurately visually showing the numerical value. So the battery is not showing, I should say the battery icon is not showing full when it's truly at a lower percentage point. So 79% is now reflecting accurately right there. So tiny thing, but always good to have. Talking about battery indicator as well, back in iOS 15, when you were charging your phone, you would see the battery percentage. Now, unfortunately with iOS 16, unless you have a battery widget showing, it does not give you any outline of your actual battery percentage when you plug it in. Now there has been a rumor about this where when you plug in your battery, your phone to charge, you will now have a display up above where the, t uh, the date is located. It will actually commit over and change to a battery percentage. I'm not sure if you have to enable it, but clearly you can see by default I am not pulling that in right now. What I'm anticipating is when you unlock it, it will show like it did just there but it is not continuously showing. So if you tap it, it's showing 79% charged. Uh, I'm not sure if this is just a bug in the beta or whatnot, but obviously if you're tapping it, you're seeing your battery indicator right there as well. It should show that battery percentage we're just looking at on the AOD display. So just something else to keep in mind. Beyond that, if you hop in your settings, let's take a look at what iOS build this is. You can see it's gonna be 20B 5050F, and obviously traditional release notes, bug fixes and improvements. We haven't found anything else significant in this beta yet. Uh, let us know if you find anything or what else you see. We know obviously iOS 16.1 did enable a couple of those other features we discussed about, so I'm sure we'll get a little bit more here in the near future, but for now, that is it. Thumbs up this video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.